We're back this afternoon with the Honorable Zoe Bokoto Bokoko of Dover, um, who actually, even while we were off camera, has shared some fascinating mm -hmm. things with us. Now, you're going to be the speaker at an upcoming event. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us where and when. What, what's going on here? We are going to be talking about human trafficking. It's an advocacy uh, program, trying to let people give them awareness of what human trafficking is and how they can recognize it and where we will insist if you see something, say something. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, we think these are ordinary things because you can find them in the massage parlors, right. in, in hotels, on trucks, in the buses, in the mm -hmm. air industry. You know, a lot of, the, it's like a cobweb, mm -hmm. a cobweb of evil. For, for someone who's watching, and I guess for me too, what, mm. what are some of these signs? What are we looking for? Okay, if you see a well-dressed person, guy, seated, for example, on a plane or in a bus or on a train or in a hotel with a kind of shabby uh, looking young lady and she will not look him in the eye, she will always put her eye down there. They cannot look in the eye of the, of the trafficker because it's a control issue they are scared of their trafficker, then you should begin to get suspicious. If you see someone, a, a woman especially, who is drugged, you know, because mm -hmm. drug trafficking and human trafficking go together, and the trafficker uses drugs to control their victims. And that's why the, the, the women will not be able to get out of uh, the sex trafficking. So we just find a security guard or a police officer somewhere you and say, I You have to think. report, yes. And at least it's better you report and save somebody's life than think, ah, this is, there's nothing here, I'll just walk away. And, and this area where we live, Delmarva, mm -hmm. is, by the is, shore. A, by the shore, is, a, is a byway, it if is. you will, for mm -hmm. human trafficking. It is what you call uh, one of the pathways mm -hmm. and yeah, the route. Because like we said before during uh, the break, we have Washington, D.C., New York, and then uh, Maryland and Del Delaware, all the way to Virginia and Florida. That's a pathway. P traffickers, they move out very slithfully yeah. across borders. They use that. They have the money. They can buy their way out sometimes. And so it's very, very critical to watch the, these, these highways. And you can find something. They can stop maybe to get something to eat in, on a, in a gas station or in a restaurant. And you are there, if you see something, you are suspicious, please report it. Encourage us. In the 30 years that you have been doing this, have you seen someone come out of these circles and go on to live a successful life? Yes. What, what happens is once you rescue somebody, you put them in a safe house. We call them safe villages. And when you put them in safe villages, then they have to get rehabilitated through a program. They have to get uh, trained so that they get skills because they are there to work, whether it's cheap labor or sex trafficking. That is a job for them. That's how they earn their living. So you have to take them away from that situation and give them better skills so that they can earn a living. And then at the same time, you protect them so that they don't go back because they also trust that person who is their trafficker. That is the person who has created a bond with them. And that's one of the things you're going to talk about in this event we're going to tell Absolutely. you about is the mind of the, of trafficker, the trafficker, how and it operates. And if people understand it, then that way you can be able to protect your people. I was in Chicago in a conference uh, and uh, when I was presenting this topic on thinking like a human trafficker, and one guy told me, do you know that the traffickers have a meeting once a year? and it's right in Chicago. Oh my goodness. I'm like, uh-huh, I would like to attend that meeting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. well, you can learn more about human trafficking. It's happening on Thursday, March 28th, 7 p.m. at St. Matthew's by the Sea United Methodist Church. That is in Fenwick Island. We're gonna have all the information on our website, but this is definitely something we need to educate ourselves and our, our family, our Absolutely. children on. Absolutely. The Honorable Zoe Bokoru Bokoko of Dover.
Thank you. Thank you. What an incredible discussion. I think we could have talked to Zoe all afternoon. It was simply amazing. Now, if you are ever in a situation where you suspect human trafficking, please call the National Human Trafficking Hotline. This is the number, 888-373-7888. You can also read more about it on DelmarvaLife.com. It could be your voice that frees someone. Delmarva Life will be right back.